What's going on guys and welcome to a new playthrough on this channel. You may think it's Super Mario Galaxy. We'll get to where this project is going eventually, but this is actually one of my favorite all-time Mario games. Uh, actually my first Wii game I'm doing on this channel and uh, why don't we start by probably one of my favorite games on the Wii and one of my favorite Mario games ever made. So um, here's kind of the gist of what we're going to do with uh, this playthrough. Because what the gist of it is, uh, the gist of it is, uh, I guess the gist of what we're gonna do is, uh, let's create, uh, let's just first of all create a new game file in this class, because, uh, we may be playing as Mario the Initial Blast, plus you get to see all the hilarious me's I've made over the years. We have John Cleese, because I'm a massive Monty Python fan, there's Bear, there's, uh, Michael Palin, another Monty Python reference, there's Brock, there's, uh, there was Obama, which I probably made that me when he was president. There was Bob Marley, there's McCartney, there's Iggy Pop, and there's Joe Strummer of The Clash. I think I'm in a Joe Strummer mood, so why don't we make this the icon? So, uh, yeah. Basically, uh, we'll start off this game. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Anyway, I thought I'd let Peach read that bit. So, uh, yeah, so Mario's going to do his typical adventure. However, uh, I thought I'd, uh, lay down some things. Uh, now these things right here, uh, these little, little things where I'm grabbing over here, these are star bits. You can run into them normally, or you can use the, uh, Wii pointer to basically carry them, but that's really not something you're supposed to know at this part of the game. And these are your typical 3D Mario controls, A to jump, and, like, uh, ZR to crouch on the nunchuck, and, uh, you can do a long jump, you can do backflips, and uh, pretty much similar to like Mario 64 or so. Which, uh, this is actually probably up there with like 64 and Odyssey as like up among my top favorite 3D Mario games. And uh, I'd say that this is probably the Wii game, one of the Mario games I come back to very often, let's just say. And uh, Bowser's going to attack with his airships, which... Uh, This cutscene, by the way, play out in and of itself. There's Peach holding the Luma, and uh, there is kind of there is kind of sort of voice acting in this cutscene. I guess I'll read the subtitles, but um, I guess I'm not I'm not really one to spoil a nearly 20 year old game though. But um, Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. I swear to God, by the way, when I was eight years old when I first played, I was like eight or nine years old when I first played this game, and like, this cutscene was, kind of, this opening bit was kind of terrifying to my younger self, let's just say. But anyway, so, uh, we have to kind of rescue Peach as usual. And, uh, let's grab some more star bits. If you get 50 star bits, it equals a one-up, so, uh... Because of how frequently you can get star bits in this game, let's just say getting one-ups isn't really the hardest to task. Now, I want to kind of show this, but uh, if you get hit by one of these meteors, you have to be in the right spot. So let's try here. Oh, let's try right here. Yeah, you can actually take damage from these meteors. So uh, yeah, you can die in the opening cutscene, but we're not going to do that. Oh. 
And uh, yeah, uh, basically, much like the Paper Mario, they're just gonna lift Peach's castle up in the into space, believe it or not. Though they also do it in space in Paper Mario, but uh... I will say that this game can take some pretty dark turns at times, and uh... We'll get to more into more of that later, but uh, it's probably one of the reasons I class I like to come back to this game a lot. Probably a lot more so than Galaxy Two, which uh, I've beaten a fair amount of time. I've beaten a little bit a good amount of times as well. Anyway, so there's Hammock. So long, enjoy your flight. And Mario goes falling, so, um. And since Mario got killed in action, there's, there's only one other person that can really do the job. What? Or Mario's missing in action, whatever, so... Now we're controlling Luigi! Oh. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! Now, um, I also should get this out of the way, by the way. In order to unlock playing as Luigi, you have to beat the game 120 stars as Mario, so... I guess I can kind of go over Luigi's controls. He runs faster, but he's a lot wonkier in controls. So like, uh, he slides when he does, uh, he slides when you go, uh, when you start running and, uh, he jumps higher, but he does not have as much ability to control himself in mid-air as Mario. So basically typical Mario controls where he just lacks, uh, traction. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. So yeah, now that I got that little intro out of the way, so I guess now we can actually start playing the game proper. So uh I, I thought that would kind of one of the kind of lame intro if I just cut to the uh Luigi uh intro. So I just kinda make it uh kinda make this more story oriented. I I basically decided to kind of create my own Mario Galaxy oriented story, but I don't know, it's like there Mario's nowhere to be found, so it's up to Luigi to do the job, so catch this rabbit. You caught me, and uh, they're gonna give hints on where to look next. Oh, I knew I should hit it in the crater, so let's try here. That's not the right crater. Let's try the crater. Since uh, they're, they're going to give general hints on where to look. And if you hear those little bunny sounds, let's just say uh, that also kind of gives you an idea where to look. Did I just go in the wrong crater again? Okay, it's like, uh, I think it's actually uh, this way. It's the other crater, but because uh, there's two craters in this area, it's this area. There's the, there's the White Rabbit, not to be confused with the Jefferson Airplane song about drugs. I actually kind of got a little stuck right there, but uh, I will say catching these rabbits is easier as Luigi because he runs faster than Mario. So uh, you caught me and he's going to give a hint on where to... Uh, I knew if only hit in the pipe. So yeah, that's the, uh, third, that's the third location we have to kind of catch these rabbits. It's like Luigi just like if if, if I even had to had a plan like this kind of telling of Mario Galaxy, I guess like Luigi just happened to be sleep on this planet for whatever reason. I, I let's kind of make it like that. I don't know. I'm kind of overthinking this a little bit, but uh, either way, let's uh. And uh, can I catch this? Okay, I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you can really help Mama. Alrighty, so now we have to uh, go up there. Now, um, there's two ports I could technically have played to this. I'm playing the Wii port because I'm more familiar with this one. I could have just as easily played the Super Mario 3D All-Stars port, but uh, that port I'd say is easier to play with a Switch Pro than the Wii Remote, but uh, I kind of like to keep this uh, as OG as possible. I've been watching for you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. 
My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I'll entrust you with this care. Anyway, so... We have the ability to spend now to shake with shake in the Wii Remote. That's actually uh, the R button, the ZR button if you're playing the 3 All-Stars board. Disaster struck us. I hope that with Luma, I guess you can with Grand Stars. Bring the stars shouting out on you. I always like... I always kind of found this part funny because, uh, wait till we, uh, go towards the, uh, wait till we go towards the glass. All right. Take the weird remote to spend things that look regular. You can't spend them on them. So, yeah. They kind of just explain. They, this is kind of a tutorial base, but, uh. So now we're finally in the action. So we talked to this Luma. Hi there. Good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a launcher already, but Meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star tips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole, because black holes are instant deaths. So, uh, they're basically this game's equivalent of the... Well, I guess they're pit... You can fall into pits normally, but, uh... Yeah, basically the gist of it, the black holes are... The black holes are kind of instant deaths, so you want to avoid those at all costs. And, uh, there's, uh, one more, uh... Actually, I think there's a one-up around here, if I remember correctly. I just gotta find out where it is, and there it is. But however, I want to get this one up because if we uh, we got one, we earned one additional Luigi. You know, I've called one ups extra guys or free mans or called that or the AVG and called it life insurance in one video. I've never called them. I've never heard them called additional Luigi's though. They're called it. They, that tutorial says additional Mario if you're playing with Mario, but uh. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake this, you can shake the Wiimote to spin them around, make them dizzy. Let the sun just run into them. Anyway, so, um, we have to find out which one of these Goombas has the key. However, they make it pretty obvious on which one has the key, but, uh, we just gotta find that particular Goomba. If I can find the Goomba, there it is. They do kind of make it obvious which one has that key. And if we talk to him, thanks. Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform. Anyway, so if we talk to him. Spin enemies. They run into them when they're stunned to boot them. So yeah, if we basically do that, um, if we take these Goombas, run them all stunned, we kind of get star pieces out of them. So uh. There's a lot of ways to start. You can farm star pieces, let's just say. But uh, we're just gonna get these ones over here and uh, and get the uh, giant Goomba, and he has the key. Like I again, they make it pretty obvious which one has the key. But um, and uh, hurry down here, and if we go down the pipe. We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. So uh, we basically have to... Uh, I guess these switches kind of give us a hint. We basically gotta flip them from orange to blue. Yay, and there's a Goomba. And I just explained it. Turn off the police for the this machine. So uh yeah. We basically gotta go in three, two, one. There we go. Like I said, the gist of this part is that's kind of a tutorial introduction, all of that. And this is a giant star. Or is it, it's actually the Grand Stars, what Rosalina was talking about. Wow. 
And ignore that during the cutscene, but, uh... I hate, like, it's, I, it's like, uh... If you watch my videos in the past, like, uh... I have pets that bark at the worst possible times during cutscenes. For some re for some weird reason, like they love to bark during cutscenes. <laughs> anyway, so Grand Star Rescue, that's the first uh, Great Way Galaxy, is basically. And we discovered a new galaxy and uh in the terrace. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, it mainly is a bright as a classic star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Common Observatory. It's my home and home to the Lumas. You see, we travel to starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange face had latched onto the ship and pulled away star bits and our power, source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so we entered a deep hibernation state which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, Please I have a request. This observatory uses star power to prepare energy into the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Those random rooms are called domes. We reserve galaxies from domes such as these. But this is the only one that's working now. Powered by the power fire you saw in that one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to recover the common observers and fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Anyway, so uh, we're not going to save just yet because I plan to do uh, another video, but uh... I guess what we can do now is uh, we can go into the terrace. But however, I'm going to save that for the next part of Super Luigi Galaxy. So, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we'll go inside this terrace. See you guys then.